Hello everybody, welcome to Coco's Crochet. I'm Litsa and today we will be choosing our project number 10 for our Coco's Crochet Cal 2024. Can you believe it guys, we're up to project number 10. So we are literally three quarters of the way done and we've only got about a month and a bit to go before we're done with this year's cow. Absolutely amazing. And I'm so glad that you've all come along for the ride. This has been so much fun and such a great community feel. And that's what it's always about for me. And I think most of you are feeling the same. So I'm gonna pop this little basket down for now. Now there are three projects left and I do remember what two are, but for the life of me, I can't remember what the third is. So as I say every week, it's always a surprise what comes out at the end. So before we do all that, we're gonna talk about the cow, showcase everybody's gift cards or card holders from project number nine, and then we will choose our project. Now today is um, the 18th of May. It's Saturday morning. It's around 9, 30, 10 o'clock here. I've had my two cups of coffee. I've done a couple of loads of washing because I thought I'd give everyone you know, some time to wake up. But then I thought all around the world, it's a different time zone. So whenever you're watching this, I hope you're well and as excited as I am to see what our next project is. Now in the background, you will hear some power tools. My son and Steve are building the deck as we speak because we've had so much rain in the last few weeks that it's their first opportunity to get there out there and do so. So when you hear that, that's what's going on. But back to what we're here for today. So how did this cow come about for all of our newbies? Because we do have some people that have jumped on of late and are joining us. Um, and at any time you want to go back and see all the projects, you can and just make them and enjoy um, the, you know, the different things you can create just with some scrap yarn, because this is what it's all about. You just need your scrap yarn and just your favorite hooks. And then you can create all these amazing little projects, which we're using to fill our boxes that we have full of gifts that we um, use for last minute gifting or that we plan for the year for like birthdays or Christmas. And a lot of you do do markets, so there can be some inventory. So that's what I was thinking at the end of last year when I got caught out and I didn't have enough things to gift, crocheted gifts, just to add some little items um, with other, um, like say mugs with a coaster. That really caught me out and I was like, I need to be more prepared next year. And I thought maybe you'd like to do the same and a lot of you are thinking the same way. So, <clears throat> excuse me. What you need to do is every fortnight, so from today until the next fortnight, and the next project will come out um, on the 1st of June, you need to make as many of the projects that we pull out from today's little basket. Um, you can make one if you choose to, and a lot of people are using this cowl as a way to experience making different things that they may have never thought of making before, or have just thought, mm, I'll do that one day. So that's a, a great way to use this cowl as well. Um, so, But a lot of you have decided to come along for um, the invitation that I put out there to see how many um, items you can make, because at the end of this cowl, so at the end of June, I'm going to ask you to tally up all your um, pieces that you've made in total. So for every project, not individually, those you send to me um, every uh, fortnight if you wish to and I get to showcase them, but in total, how many you've made, send me a tally and a photo if you can. And then I'll do like a leaderboard and there'll be five prizes. So five um, vouchers first prize, second and three thirds. So if you want to join in that, that's a little bit of fun along the way as well. And what you need to remember that you also have a wild card. Now, what's a wild card? Let's say today we choose a project that you do not want to make. Maybe you've made it before and you haven't enjoyed it or you have no use for it. You can pull out your wild card and make some of the previous projects in this cow or keep it for one of the future projects in this cow. So remember that that is available to you as well. You may not want to use your wild card and you might want to make all 12 projects, but if you want to, it's there waiting for you. So that's pretty much it guys. Like I said, great scrap buster. Um, we've been using, a, like I personally have been using a lot of my acrylic scraps and some of my cotton scraps along the way. And I know that most of you, when you send in um, your makes so that I can showcase them, have been saying the same thing, that your scrap bins are getting lower and lower, which gives you an opportunity to buy some more yarn for yourself, which is awesome. So that's it guys. Um, thank you again for joining us. Today we'll get started by me showing you what I've made for our cow and then I'll showcase everybody's makes and then we'll draw project number 10. 
So again, this was something that um, I really enjoyed making because I have a use for um, gift card holders. And I just thought, you know, all this time, I see the projects coming up on YouTube, the tutorials, but I've never made one. So this was a great opportunity to do that. But I love that a lot of you have been using them just to put in your cards. So, you know, like, um, for example, I know my mum will use hers to put in her Opal card, which is like our card that we use to travel on buses, ferries and um, trains here in Australia. So that's another use for them. Some people are just using them, you know, to put in all their cards, like credit cards and, you know, loyalty cards to different stores. And some people are even using them just to put money in, which is awesome. So I love that everyone had a different idea or a similar idea, but wait till you see all the um, creations. Now, I um, started off with a granny square one that I found actually that I'd made. So I thought, you know what, let me show you this because um, I thought I was showing you something special, but a lot of you have made the same, which is awesome that we're all thinking the same. So if you have any granny squares that are lying around, like seriously, sometimes this was just the leftover. Sometimes we have made some and we're like, I don't want to make this blanket anymore. Make some little um, card holders. This is awesome because it fits a card, but also you can put money in it. And basically all it is, is a granny square that you fold up and sew together. And this flap, you don't even have to make a little loop, pop a button on there and there you go. It is ready to go. Absolutely love that you can um, have beautiful colors on the back as well, or you can use a variegated yarn or whatever you wish. And again, this is just something that was lying around and now it has a purpose. So I absolutely love that. But the majority of my patterns came from Vivi Berry DIY, I think, uh, or Vivi Berry Crochet on YouTube. This um, YouTube creator has a multitude of um, card holders or gift card holder patterns. It's amazing. And what you can do is what I've now done is um, use the basic pattern. So here's one of them here. So this one's just using single crochet. You make a little loop and then you add a button. And I just thought it was a nice way for me to start using my little crystal buttons like this one here as well. I absolutely love them. So um, with this one, doesn't take very much yarn. All my the ones that I'm showing you are all 100% uh, acrylic yarn, DK weight or eight ply, and I've used various size hooks: three millimeter, four millimeter, and I think that the granny square was with a five millimeter. So you know, like I said, again, to get the size that you want, um, you'll have a good idea after you make one, and then you can just mix it up any way you wish so this was one of the ones that i made as i said from vivi berry crochet this is a single crochet one and it works in the round and you just do um the bottom is like you know very small like you know when you start off a bag and then you continue in the round and then she had this beautiful one here i had to try this one with the shell stitches absolutely beautiful now she did have a button on hers but i left it open because i thought you can even put like a longer one you know that sticks out a little bit so I really like that pattern. Very, very pretty. And then she had one that um, had the cross double crochets, which I absolutely love. But they were one, one of the little um, double crochets was done in the front loop. And I was getting a little bit confused. So I took it out and I just did it this way, my way, which is what I'm getting at. You can just personalize them using any stitches that you like. And again, one of those pretty little buttons. So they're my... Um, card holders, gift card holders, or money holders for our cow project number nine. So I'm going to pop those down now because I get to showcase all of yours. And by the way, guys, I will be making more of those, like maybe Christmas theme, just by changing up the button, um, because I think that'll be so nice this year when I actually gift money. It won't be just a bank transfer. Um, I'll actually be able to pop it in there. And I'm so excited about that. And, you know, like, you know, it's just shows people that you've actually put a little bit more time and effort into it. Well, that's how I feel anyway. So let's get on to your makes. I'm so very excited to show you all of these. Everyone has been so busy and so creative. So my girlfriend, Jane from Coco's Crochet. Hey, Jane. Hi, how are you, sweetie? <laughs> she made these gorgeous ones. Wait till you see them. Now, I immediately knew the pattern when I saw them. So these are by Sarah Satch. Um her YouTube channel and they're all made using and look at that fits in perfectly absolutely gorgeous so all made with 100% acrylic 
um, DK weight or 8 ply yarn and 4 millimeter hooks. And look at this beautiful, beautiful button. So I love coffee. <laughs> so these really do appeal to me and I would love to make these one day. And Jane said that she absolutely loved making um, these and enjoys being part of our cow because it gives her a break gives her a break from her bigger projects because currently she's making a beautiful granny square blanket. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm hoping to show you that one day. But that's what she loves about our cow. So thank you so much, Jane, for sending them in. Absolutely love sharing them and they are so cute. Now, our friend Nat, now she's got a little um, set here because it is a gift for her daughter-in-law, a birthday gift. So happy birthday to your daughter-in-law, Nat. But there's her card holder right there. And I'll tell you what the other pieces are as well. So Nat says that she's made a gift card envelope and a little bag just up there and some uh, face scrubbies. She made eight of those. Absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much, Nat, for sending them through to us. I'll just pop those over there. And now Alley Cat has been very, very busy. Wait till you see all the pretty colours and the pretty buttons. There they all are there. And Ali Cat says that she's planning to donate all the card holders to groups who provide gift cards to needy around the holidays. What a wonderful destination for these card holders, gift card holders. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, our friend Lisa has been very busy making some card holders of her own. Another very pretty button there. And there she shows you that you can get quite a few in that one. So that is pretty awesome. And then look at these very, very pretty ones. So they're like a granny square with a little drawstring at the top. I love the variety. Absolutely gorgeous. So thank you, Lisa, for sending them in to us. Now, our friend Deborah from Make It Do Farm. Look at this gorgeous one here. I love the variegated yarn that you've used. It pulls so pretty and the button. Now, Deborah says um, she wasn't sure about making these, but found that it was fun and may make some for the Christmas season. She modified a pattern from Crochet with Tiffany and the, the pattern is Infinite Gift Card Wrap. Um, Deborah said that she used Big Twist Cotton and the colour is Multi America. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. And now friend Susan, she has been very, very busy. So let me get this one first for you so because there's a front and a back to these wait till you see these so these are all her granny square ones so very similar to the one that i made susan and but you've made three and um susan said that she's used all her scrap yarn and some buttons and there is a front and a back because they are so very very pretty aren't they and then wait till you see this genius idea. So I'm going to talk to you about where they are so you can see them all. So what um, Susan did, she went to Creative Grandma and she went to her Stitch of the Week and she made seven different um, gift card holders using seven different stitches and gorgeous buttons and yarns along the way. So the multicolored one at the top left is a shell stitch. Then the pink one at the top right is a baby shell. The pink variegated, so the bottom left is a V stitch. And the hot pink one down the bottom right is a cross stitch. And then on the other side, she kept going. She has got a lavender one in the top left, and that's a moss stitch. And then we've got the blue and the cream one top right, which is a single crochet. And then the bottom one is a single double crochet. I, I like a single and then a double. I think that's like the lemon peel stitch. That's what I call it anyway. Absolutely gorgeous. And I love that Susan says that she had a blast making all of these. I just love that. So thank you for sending them through, Susan. Now, our friend Thea has made six gift cards. And she plans to make a few more uh, for the Christmas season. She said that she's personalised them all so that they suit all the different personalities that she's giving them to. Um, they will be receiving their Christmas gift cards in a fancy holder. I love that. Um, Thea used assorted scrap yarns in ver uh, and made various size holders to accommodate the various size gift cards that she gives. And um, I just love this one here. Is that like eyelash yarn? To me, that looks like someone is wearing a skirt and they're dancing. Absolutely love them. So thank you so much, Thea, for sending them through. And our friend Shirley, she's made a very pretty one. Wait till you see this one. And she's popped a little button on there and there's a little loop as well. So um, Shirley says that um, this was made with red heart pinks. It's got a granny stitch flap 
and the rest is done in moss stitch very very pretty so thank you so much shirley for sending your gift card holder in for us and our friend kim has made two so um D uh, kim used dk weight yarn from her stash there's a granny square one and the pattern is by repeat crafter me so that one down there and the pink one is single crochet and the pattern is by five little monsters very very pretty so thank you so much kim for sending them through and our friend kk from k and k crochet she has sent this very pretty one in which obviously is for a christmas gifting i think so anyway now kk said that she's just made up her own pattern i love that she's left this peephole here so you can see like get a little idea of what's in coming inside for you and i love that star button so so very very pretty and ready for christmas so thank you so much kk for sending that through to us and our friend josephine has made the gift card holders that are 100 on my crochet to do list look at these guys i absolutely love these i just ran out of time so these again are by vivi berry um, diy the crochet channel on youtube um, Josephine used her DK Way acrylic yarn scraps, a three millimeters dots hook, um, various buttons, as you can see them there. And I just think they are so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for sending those through, Josephine. I really need to make those ones. And now our friend Sally from Nanny Moon Crochets, she sent a vi uh, video, uh, a message last night. And I have her gorgeous now my eye is weeping guys because of the cold so i'm just going to give it a little dab there we go so here we go here now sally says that she's made th uh three card cases because this one here guys i don't know if you can see but it's double so you fold it over i love that you've used a magnetic button there sally and the other buttons and yarn are very very pretty as well now sally said she used her scraps and she really enjoyed this project and is looking forward to project number 10, aren't we all? So thank you so much for sending them through to us, Sally. Now, on Instagram, we have um, our friend Karina. She actually used her wild card this time. And instead of making the gift card holders, she actually made two glasses cases. So let me just quickly go into um, our cow. So if you put in the hashtag Coco's Crochet Cow 2024, either in, on Instagram or in YouTube, search for it. You'll be able to see everybody's entries. Now, why isn't it bringing it up for me? I had it. Here we go here. So where are Karina's entries? Very, very cute they are. And of course, I had them in front of me this morning. And here they are here now. Okay, so there's Karina. So thank you so much, Karina, for joining in for another week. And I'm glad you found a use for your wild card. So that's it, guys. Everybody's entries. I'm so excited to see what comes out now for project number 10. And then we can get started. So as I shake, shake, shake every week, I remind you of what we've made so far. So the first um, project that we had was cup or mug cozies. Then we made headbands and ear warmers. Then we got onto beanies and hats. We made some water bottle holders. Number five was baskets. Number six was glasses cases. Then we got onto pot holders. And then we made some soap sacks and small gift bags. And as you know, we just finished with our gift or card holders. Let me shake it all up. There's just three. It's so light in there now. So let me... I love this part. Okay, out. You always get to see it before me. It's so exciting. <laughs> Let's take that off. Dish or washcloths. Oops. Oh, awesome. I have only made one ever and I absolutely love them. And I want to create little spa sets. So I think this is going to be awesome. So dish or washcloths, guys. This is going to be sitting up here. So get started. I want to, you know, like I'm so excited. I want to see all the variety of dishcloths and washcloths that we make, the different stitches that we can use. I wonder if some people will be bringing, like sending through some Tunisian crochet. I think this might be a good opportunity for me to practice my Tunisian crochet again because I 
I've only just dabbled it through the year. So here's my mind already thinking about how I'm going to be creating these dish or wash cloths. And of course, I'll be using my cotton yarn. Although I do hear some people say that you can use a mix of the cotton acrylic and some acrylic as well. And also you could use your scrubby yarn. Absolutely. I think I have some scrubby yarn that I can pop in some of them as well. Okay, I'm... Um, seriously excited about this i hope you are as well now as we said if for any reason you've got too many washcloths or dish dishcloths and you don't want to make any you can use your wild card but another little side note guys a lot of you might be friends with rose at um rose likes crochet i absolutely am totally in love with her and she's collecting washcloths wash cloths i cannot say that and dish cloths so you might want to put a little collection in for her totally something random that i've just popped into my head so i thought i would share that with you because she has you know she distributes them so if you have no need for them but we would like to um, join in maybe that's something you can do as well absolutely no pressure so thank you so much for joining me today guys i am so very very excited i'm going to have to write that down on my list of makes now you have until the first of june to um you know make all your wash cloths and dish cloths and then you can send them through to me because then we choose project number 11. Unbelievable, guys. We're nearly at the end of <laughs> this cow. Uh, I can't believe it. Thank you so very, very much for joining me and making this so much fun. It brings me so much joy to know that we're doing this together. And until I see you guys very, very soon, take care, everyone. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>